So we're about to have some Loomception right now. Loomception because this next fight is posted on Loom, it's not posted on YouTube. But yeah, this next fight that we're about to watch, my fourth boxing fight, just two weeks after my last one, I had to cut, I had to weight cut to 64 kg, which was a horrible, horrible weight cut after I just bulked, I just had to put on weight to go up to fight at 71. And now in two weeks, I've got to cut back down to 64 for this fight with James Sloan. This is by far the best fighter I fought today. I believe he has multiple titles, multiple fight titles. He was fighting at his home show and he's just a great boxer. Like all the other guys, I don't look at these guys and think he's a great fucking boxer. Because at this level, they ain't great boxers. They're just violent. You know what I mean? Like they're not technically brilliant. They're just fighters. They're just rough. They can just dish out punches. Whereas you look at this next guy and like, oh, damn, he's actually a really good boxer. This is the first guy that I got in the ring with. I got into the ring to fight this guy knowing that he's a better boxer than me because I think I'm a good boxer. And technically, especially if you watch my last fight and even my first fight as well, you can see that I'm technically, I'm pretty good. I've got good technique. I'm a skillful fighter. I'm not just... Not just a brawler, I am a skillful fighter. But I went into this fight knowing that this is the first guy that I fought that's actually better than me. But just because someone is better than you doesn't mean you're going to lose the fight. Have you guys ever watched Rocky? Rocky versus Apollo Creed. Apollo Creed is the world champion. Apollo is the world champion. And Rocky's just some, some guy. Just some some Italian guy, you know? He's like, he's not a great fighter, but he's just got heart and spirit and toughness. And he almost wins. And then he does come back and win, right? So that was my mindset going into this fight. Two weeks notice, had to cut loads of weight. And I knew he was a better boxer than me, but I knew that I could still win. I knew that. So let's watch the fight. We've got a commentator this time as well. Tell me. I don't know why I didn't get a last name. It's just Tammy, but oh well. Here we go, though. 64 kilogram fight between Tammy and the fighting yeah. ball in the centre. And the yet to be announced James Long from Revolution. Box Hulk Smash Hulk. was the walkout. Tammy coming into the red corner. Uh, this is 64 kg Tammy now. I rehydrated like mad, to be fair. If we, uh, we ever get Tammy in the ring, yeah. Neil is. Uh, and you. Thank you. Steps, you ask me. Yeah, he only had about 72 fighters on the uh, juniors. That's so. exactly right. It's great. 71. Sorry, 71. My trim's a bit dead in this fight because I gave myself a trim before the fight. I cut my own hair and like, I messed it up a little bit. But yeah, that's James Sloan. He looks like a boxer, he moves like a boxer, he's a good boxer. And I was saying, I really like his style, I really like this kid. Great, great fire. Great fire. So straight away, what do you see me doing? Again, my coach Owen is a genius. He's a tactical genius. This is what we were drilling in the change room before, before the fight. Is Owen was telling me how I beat this guy. Because James Sloan is a southpaw, you can see he's got his hands out like this. He's a southpaw and he's really good at moving. He's really technical. He's really good at moving in and out, around circles. So I knew if I wanted to win this fight, I've got to get, I've got to be aggressive. I've got to wear him out and I've just got to keep going forward. I've just got to put him on the back foot. So what we was we, we practicing? This weird thing where it's like Owen was telling me, just shuffle in, keep moving forward, and like try and power your straight punches because movers they want to come in one 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 bam 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 one two one one two one two one 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 two they want to throw loads of straight punches keep you away and keep moving around so this is what we was practicing moving forward a little bit of head movement and just parrying shots if he keeps running away as well something that me and my coach drilled was just be like go back to the middle and just say come on then come on and try and like taunt him into a scrap because that's what I needed to win this fight. Me and my coach knew this. I needed to scrap this guy if I wanted to win. I'm just walking him down. Good job. Good job that is by Temi. Yeah, I like that. 
not always easy to land the orthodox jab over the south ball. Nice jab. And there, Sloan returns. Both settled into this really well. Yeah, you can see his movement in it. You can see how good he is on his feet. He's bouncy, he's quick, he's in and out. But so far, I'm just the aggressor. I'm always going first. Both men shaping up and looking like boxers here. I think, um, I think it, it gives credit to Neil. For every, every fight we've seen from Neil's tonight. Yeah, I have to they've agree. They've all been very, tri they've all very well trained. Some really talented juniors earlier. Definitely. Earlier on today. So hopefully the adults can continue the good look at him he just looks good he just looks good on his feet i'm like yeah come on then come on so yet again good matchup yep definitely he's big like so i had to cut a lot of weight for this fight he looks massive for 64 kilos he must have had to cut a lot of weight that must not have been fun for him but he looks big every time we'd clinch i could feel his strength he was just so strong and it was actually tiring me out a lot having him just hold on to me all the time anytime i got close he would just hold on to me Yeah, I'm just following around and I'm just getting first. Oh. I'm with that lunging left hand that I love. I remember he really hurt me with one of those body shots. It was a straight right to the body. Don't know if it was that one or not, but like it winded me a little bit. Like it actually really, really hurt. Best bit of boxing so far. First round, because I'm tense and going forward. I actually remember being fucked after the first round. Like I'm dying. Look, you can see I'm breathing very heavily. Me in my corner there. Yeah, I was tired. Good first round of boxing. Definitely my round though. First round was definitely mine. Well matched. Two good movers. Both men off the stool, ready to go again. Engage. And they've both been given the stool as well, so it's proper in it. Be interesting to see how many uh, Sloans had. The only, the only one thing I'd say to him is when he was dropping that jab, then he was catching him. I'm doing the parries, parrying the straight punches and then countering as I'm in close. I think it. I think it was that one. I think that's the one that hurt me. Because it kind of like moved me back a little bit. He counted me like mid movement. Yeah. I think that's the one that hurt. Obviously, you can't let him know that. You can't let him know. I like this referee. Temi's corner shouting more speed, less power, which I think is a good. It's always good advice against the mover because yeah. when they're moving well, it's hard to nail them clean with one foot speed. Right, right hook to the body and then right uppercut. Oh. Commentators like that one. Don't know what the commentators are on about. Again, that, that left hook, I'm landing that on everyone. That leaping left hook, I'm just getting in with that, yeah. The level change. I'm definitely landing a lot more. You can see my heart in it. Like, you can see the game plan. I don't stop going forward. I'm always just on him, pressuring him. That's, that's even what the commentator just said right now. Like, I think Sloan's the better boxer, but Temi... He just hasn't stopped. See, he's giving me my flowers. He's acknowledging that, okay, yeah, you know what? Technically, I'm not the better boxer in this fight, but you can't deny me this, this win because he's like, I haven't stopped going forward. I haven't stopped hitting him. I'm just landing. Good little flurry from Sloan there, to be fair. Sloan with some big shots just then on the end with my right hand. Good right, right hand again. You saw his chin, butt back. 
But yeah, you can see this fight's just a, just been a war so far. Just I'm just turning forward. Super tiring for me, having to keep walking forward, fighting his fight as a mover, but it's, it's what I had to do. I wasn't going to outbox him from the outside. I had to get in close. I'm just like a tank, just walking forward. The third and final round. Let me know what you score it so far, boys. I won the first. The second, I'd probably say I won the second as well, but I don't know. A little bit, a little bit closer. But I thought, again. The commentators are glazing Sloan right now. All I'm hearing is good things about Sloan, Sloan, Sloan. What about Temi? <laughs> What about Temi? The glazing. It's, it's his home show though, so you know, to be expected. He is. He is a big frame for 64. The third round, we both want this win. We both want it. So we're just, we're leaving it all out there. We're just fighting. More, more slow and talk. Catching him with a lot, a lot of right hooks, and that, that, it feels weird because, like, in sparring and in other fights, I never throw right hooks. But against this guy, yeah, I guess the right hook was just there. Maybe because he's southpaw. I'm glad they said I don't look tired because I'm fucked. Absolutely fucked. Good right hook again. Oh, imagine if that uppercut landed. <laughs> I put my all into that uppercut. Big right hook again. Oh, I'm so tired. Straight away, look, I fell off him. I'm straight back to my corner. I'm too tired. He's over there, like, raising his hand and stuff, which you're supposed to do. At the end of the fight, you're supposed to walk around and raise your hand so that it looks like you're confident that you're going to win. It, it can... Psychologically, it might influence the judges' scorecards or something. I walk over to the corner. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. The commentator saying they don't know which way it's going to go. Lean towards Temi. I think that was quite a clear victory, but we'll see. I look in good shape again, though. Back at 64 kg. Majority decision. Oh, we got that. Yeah, we got that again. If you're watching this now, you've got nothing to be disappointed about. Go back to the drawing board. Big up my opponent. Great boxer. And I, I, I want to see more of his fights. Like, I hope he's had more fights since we fought. I'd like to go and watch them because, yeah, great boxer. But yeah, that's me reacting to my fourth boxing fight. Temi Lowry versus James Sloan. So we'll go on here, I'll type in win, highlight that. So June, that was June, and then after this, I went on holiday to Egypt and had a great time in Egypt, and then we got back from Egypt, and then it was time to start planning my next victim, my next opponent, which brings me to our fifth fight, which I've got time, so yeah, I think I'm just going to go through all of them. It brings me to my fifth fight, which we will watch in the next fight reaction video so yeah let me know what did you think of the scorecards because James thought he won that fight he thought he got robbed um he thought he got robbed I think I won that fight but please your unbiased opinion in the comment section who did you think won that fight because I'm curious to know how did you score it who do you think won the fight obviously you know the, all the normal things like the video etc and as always boys keep grinding